Hi there, welcome into Energy Upgrade Feng Shui Tips 2022. I'm Lisa Albin, I'm a Feng Shui Master and Quantum Energy Alignment Practitioner. And I just lit my candle with the intention to connect and to support you on the other side receiving this session. If you are new here and you stumbled upon my channel, it is by no accident, I assure you. Pay no attention to the time. When you find this exact session right now is the perfect time for you. It meets you where you are on your life path journey so you can have more clarity and ease as you look to moving forward to embody fully your best life and your goals. I'm asking that each and every person out there um, get a piece of paper and a journal or notebook and write down this higher than the moon and stars goal that you have and desire because that's what we're going to hold in our intention today through this session if you are returning i thank you so much for your like share and subscribes because they help me get a read on whether or not i'm supporting you and it helps me to develop better this process so i can best serve you let's get started without further ado i've already gone ahead and consulted of the ancient I Ching and divined of it. Please tell me what is the energy surrounding those wishing to receive an energy upgrade. It is the week of May 9th. Happy Mother's Day to those who celebrate it over the weekend. I know I did, I fully enjoyed it. It was like a mini staycation for me here in the beautiful state of Florida. And um, so happy Mother's Day to all of those who are mothers at heart um, in, in whatever way that you are expressing it in this life. So again, just this is when I'm divining of the ancient I Ching, but if you're receiving this um, a couple weeks ahead, uh, a couple weeks behind May 9th, it's the perfect time for you, or maybe even a year later. This is the message for you. It resulted in two hexagrams, um, number 61, shifting into 22, telling us a story of insight and centering in truth, shifting into grace and beauty. And there's a huge mes message in this current energy about being centered in truth. And to give you the full spectrum story of this, I, you know, first I'm going to check into your emotional aura frequency using the quantum energy alignment software. And then we will backtrack. So using the software, I'm connecting into your emotional aura field. I typed in your name into the box with intention to connect. The victim acts out the scenario over and over, quit being the victim, it is in your emotional aura field at this time. Underneath of that, there are a few underlying issues. Now you may be reading this and thinking, this relates to me directly, or this is something I hear someone say over and over again. Um, again, our emotional auras, they are made up of a frequency around us, a, a field, or if you can imagine like a membrane of a bubble around us. When we are operating in stress, this bubble can have tears and permeations, and that leaves us susceptible to um, illness, obviously stress, and the objective here is to reduce stress. So we are looking at some underlying issues of meet out punishments that never deter or correct, issues about wealth, Victimize the weak, increased team dysfunction, rise due to boss-related stress. These are all negatives that we're asking to remove our emotional aura field and to scramble those frequencies so that they may never return um, in the same fashion that they are today. So this is going to take about five minutes. Let's get back to that Yi Jing. Really, really beautiful story in this. If you um, are interested in last week's re reading, I invite you to scroll back and take a look at that as well because I feel this is a natural transgression from that. In the last session we had, it was about radiating, radiating joy. Here, it is the time to shine in your ability to have an open and true heart. And this is what makes you, you. This is what you are projecting into the world and it's what's really attracting in your perfect people, your tribe, uh, your supporters, your clients, for many of you who are in business. You see people, situations, and environments for who and what they are, for what they really are. You're not going to fall for, um, for smoke and mirrors or pretenses. You can smell that a mile away when someone's not really being upfront and honest with you. So listen to your inner self. You know best in this 
it's not going to be easy because you're going to be surrounded by so many strong personalities that you're going to be able, um, well, first you're going to be able to, to feel it somewhere, maybe perhaps in your gut and your body that something is a little bit off. But when you are surrounded by such strong personalities, sometimes you question yourself. Sometimes you have a, a little bit of insecurity sneak in. Um, because you're going against the grain, you might think that you are off base. The I Ching is advising that even though it's not going to be easy, really to stick to your highest and best good, listen to your intuition, and don't pay attention to these influences just because something is on trend doesn't mean you need to go with that path. Stay on your path and your life path journey. You know what it is. You radiate an unselfishness that is just so attractive and it is what's drawing people to you. You make people feel good. You're uplifting of them. And your unselfishness is what's really going to, um, to be working to your benefit in this energy because it's a little bit tricky of an energy. You might really want to shake things up, but this isn't a time to be making big decisions and big moves. Really look to working on your inner self, inner and your immediate environment around you. Stay sincere and continue to uplift others. Your influence is radiating to the right people. It's a good time to make sure that you're protecting yourself you're projecting yourself rather in a way that's resonant with who you really are, not with what's on trend, not with what you're hearing other people saying. I think it's interesting that I said protecting um, because you're just really surrounded by strong personalities that want to influence you. And perhaps they are trying to guide you from a place where it's not really you know, negative or um, coming from a bad place in their in their mind, but it might throw you off your life path journey. Their journey is not yours. They may see that you're doing something off green um, and that's a little bit different, but you really are going to do your best when you are sitting within your truth and what you know. This, um, like we said a little bit earlier, myself and the Yijing, this isn't a time to make major decisions really, really be introspective here. You can refine your immediate surroundings using feng shui to help manipulate and direct your energy in a way that's supporting you. And as feng shui practitioners, um, I include you in that as well since you've been watching along with me. Practicing feng shui gives you the ability to direct energy and nourish yourself. And I really keep just hearing to protecting. So protect your energy. Um, there's a lot of outward forces here. And one way to regain control when there's a lot of outward energy is to go within. And you can manipulate your environment and refine it in ways that is gonna help reduce stress and to help you really just be your best and strongest self. So that also is an invitation to get back to meditation, grounding, get back into your routines. Um, you might have faltered a little bit. I know I have. Um, and you know, that leaves us susceptible to feeling depleted and not operating in our best, um, our hundred percent best capacity. So let's return to what the foundations were that we created, that we've been creating over the past couple of years. And take a look at that goal, hold it in your mind's eye and look at your environment and see if your environment is matching your inner self. And remember too, one of your strongest assets we'll go back to is your unselfishness and the ways that you are looking to support others is very genuine and you are aligned with the greatest and highest good and don't let anyone sway you off that. So keep that in your focus as well. Going back to the words of wisdom, the words of wisdom is suggesting, um, is advising that we use this mantra, money is good, three times today. I'm going to ask that you use it nine times today. Money is good. Write it down. Write it in cursive with your pen that you have out. Write money is good in cursive. Writing in cursive allows the words to program even deeper into all of the levels of your consciousness and your awareness. 
and we know that words contain a frequency and what we're doing right now is programming in money is good. So if you have a lack of mindset, um, perhaps this is speaking to you directly, let me know in the comments if this resonates with you and be on the lookout for any synchronicities too outside of this session. I'm gonna leave you with a supercharge today and let's give you some ooh, energy. A little sniffles all of a kind of sudden energy upgrade YouTube viewers with the intention to charge you watching here at home and make sure that you're fully hydrated during the session take a few full deep breaths if you can if you don't have allergies like me <laughs> Really just let all of the stress seep away. We've done some work on your emotional aura field, so you may be feeling that at this time. And out. I'm gonna be charging you with an energy imprint of abundance. That's also a program in Money is Good. In this instance, I feel like there is a significant amount of work that can be done around that. Let's also, to that, let's put in confidence, inner wisdom. You know what's best for you. Just because you're doing things differently in this scenario doesn't mean that you're off base. Clarity, faith. Trust that what your goal is will be experienced fully Hold it in your mind's eye, deeply envision it, draw it if you must. It might even help if you create some artwork. Maybe perhaps you channel your energy through music to really help you connect with what you desire. However you wish to get into that mindset. Um, a lot of people like to write poetry or rain journal out the experience as if you're already receiving that goal, experiencing that goal that you wrote down have faith that you will experience this goal. Embodiment. And also, let's see. I'm gonna say humble. And strength against outside forces. You are strong. Remember and have that confidence. This charge is going to support you for two weeks. And I thank you so much for checking in on today's energy upgrade. I hope that you're finding this very helpful. It's a beautiful energy to be in. You're stepping into grace and beauty next. And that is, um, that's a great place to be. That is maybe perhaps the feeling of having stars in your eyes seeing beauty all around you, you see the beauty in everything. And um, you're a dreamer. Don't let that, don't let people tell you to stop dreaming. Um, make sure, however, that you recognize that there are routines that we need to, um, that we need to uphold in our lives. There's responsibilities, but don't lose those stars in your eyes and hold that vision, desire, and goal in your mind's eye throughout this week and stay true to yourself, connect in with yourself, and take a look at your environment and just make little tweaks around your environment. Even if that just means touching 27 things, moving it slightly, um, dusting 27 things. When we touch at least 27 things within our immediate environment, we are releasing stagnant energy. And that's my tip for you today. It's a good one. I use it frequent frequently and um, so I wish for you the frequency of joy, wonder, and all and all that you do and radiate that with confidence and attracting your soul tribe. I'm Lisa Albin with Cloud9 Feng Shui and the Intrinsic School of Feng Shui. Tomorrow we're kicking off our next training session for professionals. If you desire to join me and my uh, partner and co-founder of the Intrinsic School of Feng Shui in, um, in supporting our clients and supporting the the world and others with the beautiful um, practice of feng shui the science and wisdom of feng shui 
um, reach out to me in the link provided in the description to see how you can get started. Set up your 20 minute discovery call with us and we'd love to hear your story. And we'll share with you our upcoming schedule so you can join us in the next session. I wish you many blessings times nine and I'll see you next week. Bye.